Okay, I'm at the Ashland building. This is a bid for 2020. Asphalt repair, seal coat, crack fill, and striping. Crack fill, um, I'm gonna take off the bid that we just did here in 2019. So we just did some crack fill. Either We either did it at the beginning of this year or we did it at the end of last year, but I'll, uh, I'll put the quantities in for crack fill. And then seal coat measurement, I'll give you the square footage on that. And the stall count in here, as well as the yellow painted curb. But you got two entrances here. You got the northeast entrance on the other side of this building, and then you got the southeast entrance, which is right here. Okay, we can park along the back side of the building for staging when doing the asphalt repairs. We can park down the middle as well, keep it blocked off. But uh, here are the repairs. We got this first repair right here. I put a white dot here and a white dot right down there up against the curb and up against the sidewalk there. That's a 24 by 12. Okay, so 24 by 12 where my dots are. One right there and one right up there. Then it goes over to the curb, 24 by 12. We're gonna go two and a half inch depth. It's the first patch. Second patch around the uh, corner the front of the building and you've got this right here at the corner by the bollard okay so at an angle here coming off of the bollard you've got a 12 by 6 okay 12 by 6 okay then you've got this right here this area which is an 8 by 12 so we'd go across 12 feet come out 8 get this 8 by 12 right down this is just before you go down the hill from um, suite 204 you've got this area right here which is a uh, 3 by 15 it ends right here at the patch which is right at the curb Okay, so that's a 3 by 15 right here. Come down the hill and get to this pipe bollard here. And going all the way across, we would do another patch right here that starts right about where the joint is there. Come across here, this direction, up, up into that existing uh, joint right there, across. That one is a 28 foot by nine. Okay, 28 by nine section. Then we've got this whole parking stall area all the way down. And it came out 33 feet from the curbing there, which puts you right at where that existing joint is right there. So if you were to draw an imaginary line all the way over here and then out 33 feet, that would be a 33 foot by 105 foot uh, remove and replace all throughout these stalls here. Okay, so that's 33 by 105. That takes you all the way to the curb there at the far end by the chain link fence. And then if you were to draw an imaginary line right down this seam here and start right here at the yellow, you'd go 10 foot over from the yellow 10 foot by 88 feet which would take up these two parallel stalls that white car so all this parallel parking here within the yellow and that 88 feet takes you all the way to the end here where uh, the e is on lane all right so right here be 88 feet by 10 all the way down Okay. These no parking stencils are 12 inch. This yellow line is four inch. As you can see, it goes around the building here in the back and then it turns into yellow curb. Again, I'll have striping quantities. At some of these areas you can see I've sunk a little bit, so we should probably throw in, um, I'd probably say three yards of uh, crushed rock just in case so we can pack it compact it over there on that end because a lot of it has sunken down okay 
and let's see here and because we are going to fix this asphalt here we need to fix this curb so right here at this joint at the one-way sign you've got 30 feet of curb 35 feet of curb which will take you all the way down to the corner there and then to this expansion joint that's right down the middle here so that expansion joint all the way around will take you to that expansion joint by the one-way sign okay there you have it uh, if you have any questions let me know um, I would say this seal coat would be a weekend job asphalt could be done during the week um, they've got you know multiple tenants in here but I think that the best thing best time for us to do this would be on the weekend seal coat it all in one day stripe it the next day all right any questions let me know thanks a lot